everybody, it's Lisa. Welcome back to my channel. Today I am starting a weekly vlog and that is because on Thursday I am turning 21 so I wanted to do a vlog for the week of just the things that I'm doing this week just to do it because I know you guys like my vlogs and I enjoy doing vlogs. I turned 21 on Thursday. Today is Monday like the 23rd or something like that and this week I'm doing a couple things and I'm getting some things so I'm very excited. Wednesday planning on going to the fair because the um, North Georgia State Fair is going to be here on Wednesday through like two weeks. And then Thursday for my actual birthday, I'm going to the Georgia Aquarium and then probably to eat somewhere for dinner in Atlanta. And then not Friday, but Saturday, I'm going to be going to Alabama. Let's go to the Alabama game. And then my parents bought me a vanity for my birthday. My grandma is coming over tomorrow to give me my birthday presents and she bought me patio furniture. So you guys are going to be seeing some new furniture coming in. So it's kind of like an apartment vlog as well. And of course, you're going to get a lot of content content for little girl because she's um, gotten very chunky. I'll show you what she looks like. Here she is. You have probably haven't seen her since the video where I adopted her, but she has gotten very chunky. Her little collar used to be too big and now it is too small on her. Um, she loves playing with these little, this little thing. She just woke up from sleeping, so she's probably not going to be as hyper, but there she is. So currently right now I spent all morning going to Walmart and grocery shopping. I hate grocery shopping and someone on Twitter recommended that I just start doing the online order where I just go and pick up my groceries. And I realized that is such a smart idea because I literally spent two hours of my life today just going grocery shopping when I could have just ordered it all online. So I think I'm gonna try that next time. And my sister got a job at Walmart and that's her job is where she take, she collects online orders and takes them out to their car. So maybe my sister will be bringing me my order. But currently, um, um, I am making dinner in a crock pot. My family's coming over for dinner. I'll show you what I'm making. Also at Walmart, I got this um, little thing for my kitchen. I got this to put in this little space in my kitchen. I don't know why, I just felt like this is what I wanted here. And I don't know why I want it here, it just makes me feel good. To like see the days go by and write down important things like when to give Twyla her flea and tick heartworm medication and just things that I'm doing are all here. And I really like that and I also bought a lot of, I bought a whole pack of colored dry erase markers. But here is what I am making. This is a very old crock pot that my parents actually got as a gift when they got married 20 something years ago. Yeah, they gave it to me and it still works. But I am currently making this crock pot Hawaiian chicken. It literally just took barbecue sauce, pineapples, and chicken and put it all in the thing and cook it on high for four hours and you got some Hawaiian chicken. Seriously, smells so good. I have two hours left on that and then at about a, when there's about an hour left of the chicken, I'm going to start making the homemade baked mac and cheese to eat with the chicken. It's said to serve with rice, but I'm just like not feeling rice with chicken. I don't know, I always eat macaroni with chicken. So I bought all the ingredients today to cook this macaroni that I've never made before. So my family's gonna come over later to eat that. Meow. Meow. What? Yeah, like it feels good to have full things. My bread actually molded because I didn't eat the whole thing and I only buy these small loaves because I don't eat too much bread. So I had to buy new bread. My parents gave me this really old cookbook from 1996, but it still has some good crap in it. So, and then I filled up my fridge. So that's all pretty much what has been going on today. Um, I'll probably update you guys with what the food looks like tonight and then I'll update you guys probably back tomorrow with what my grandma gives me for my birthday. Yeah, stuff like that. And then I ordered a couple things from Amazon for 12 Twyla because I got paid today from YouTube which is a good paycheck. So I bought her like this huge thing of toys and a scratching post and nail clippers and I just bought a lot of stuff for Twyla on Amazon which is coming in a couple days. Guys, it is the same night. We ate dinner. It was good. I've been looking for Siamese kittens online. I feel like I've said that already, but I've been looking for Siamese kittens and I kind of just like given up because it's really hard to find like a rescue Siamese kitten. And then as soon as I gave up, right when I opened Facebook, this rescue that is around kind of in my area had a picture of a kitten that they said was pre-adoptable and it was posted like an hour before I saw it. But here's the kitten. Literally the prettiest cat I've ever seen in my life. It's a girl. Her name's Mia. She's pre-adoptable 
adoptable because they wait till they're a little bit older to, you know, give their shots and spay them and stuff like that. They do all of that themselves at the rescue, which is like not even needed because I could get it done myself. But there was already like 30 comments from people saying that they want her and you have to fill out like this whole application on their website and they go through the applications and then pick people to like interview and stuff like that. And I posted a comment. I filled out an application immediately. I posted a comment and I sent them a message just so they 100% know that I am interested in adopting her and I posted the comment and you guys went on the post and liked and hearted my comment. I have 15 hearts. I'm the comment with the most likes and then like six of you replied back saying yes Alyssa would be an amazing owner. Then they answered my message and said that I asked if she was adopted already. They said that there's been some applications but she's not adopted and then I asked um, about information and how you know it works and everything and they said that the person running the Facebook page is going to let the adoption coordinator know that I am very much interested and that they're going through all the applications and then they will contact people so I'm hoping them seeing all the people commenting on my post will maybe like bump them up I don't know I just wanted to like put this in here because you guys know like it's one of my dreams to have a Siamese cat, especially a kitten, because with Twyla, it, it's a lot easier to introduce a kitten to a cat than a cat to another cat. Having a Russian blue in a Siamese, like <laughs> my dream cats and they're just, they're just beautiful. And I feel like Twyla would really love having a sibling because when I'm home, like when I'm gone and when I come back home, I can just tell that she was bored and that she just really, you know, wants someone to play with. So I feel like having a friend for her would be really good. And I don't think I want more than two cats, especially an apartment this big. If I ever get a bigger apartment or a house or something, of course I'd get more cats. But for right now, I at least want two just so they can have each other. But I'm not going to just get any kitten. Like I want to find the kitten or the cat of my dream. Other than Twyla, of course. Twyla's perfect. I'm just very hopeful. I'm manifesting the crap out of this cat. She is stunning. And you don't see cats like that at rescues very often. Literally the second that post was posted, there was comments. And it, there's like so many shares on it. There's hundreds and hundreds of likes on it. Like a lot of people are interested in her. So I might have been too late to fill out an application, but I just, I 100% like told the Facebook page of the rescue. Like I'm 100% interested. So I'm hoping they're taking that into account. I'll update you guys back probably tomorrow. Um, just letting you guys know this vlog may be very long um, because it's a week long vlog. And I'm going to try to update as much as possible because I love watching really long vlogs like in the background when I'm doing things. So if you guys do the same thing with my vlogs, I'm making it long for you guys. I like to watch vlogs when I'm in the shower. I like to watch vlogs when I'm like just sitting on the couch scrolling through my phone. When I'm doing homework, like I will listen to vlogs in the background. If you're doing that with my video, it's pretty cool. But I'll update you guys back tomorrow when my grandma comes and shows you what she gets me and everything like that. But dinner was a success tonight. It was really good. The chicken was very, very good. And the macaroni was good and I have tons of leftovers, so. It's the next day. My grandma just came and left with my birthday presents. And I guess I'll show you guys what she got me. First, she got me this Harry Potter mug. It says the Marauders map on this side. And then it says, I solemnly swear that I'm up to no good on this side. But this coffee cup, guys, is literally freaking huge. I probably won't use coffee with it just because it's so big, but I'm very excited to use this either as decoration or for other drinks. And then she got me this like wrap around bracelet, which is super pretty. And then she also got me a pack of 70 Starbucks K cup things for my Keurig. 70, 70 coffee pods. That will literally last me more than a year. It's literally insane. So I won't need coffee for a long, long time. And then she also bought me that patio furniture that I told you guys about, which actually was delivered to my parents' house today. But I went over there because I thought I'd be able to carry the box myself, but the box is like 70 pounds. And my dad can't bring it over till later today, and I'm going to try to build it today myself. While I was over there, my Amazon pack just for Twyla came. So I got this pack of all of these toys for her. Then I got these cat nail clippers because I want to start training her so I can cut her nails. They're short right now because I got them cut when I got her last round of vaccines. And then I also got this, another cat scratching post. It's like one of those tall ones instead of the little box one that maybe she'll want to scratch on and play with, I don't know. So I'm going to build that cat tower and I'm going to take all of these toys out, see which one she likes. I haven't gotten any response back about 
the Siamese kitten yet. Um, I guess it's too early to get a response back or I'm not the first one to get a response back. So let's open this up. If I get that kitten, I know I will have plenty of toys for that kitten and Twyla. I'll put the link for this down below if I remember, just in case any of you guys are interested. It was $10 for literally all of these. Twyla, look. So there's five of these little mice and then a couple of these little like tin foil balls, little stars, more little balls. This one's really cool. It's like a ball with a mouse. So when they hit it, it kind of just rolls back like that. That's pretty cute. And then these little springs. I don't think I'm going to keep these little springs out. And then this little tunnel. She does like to play with her little toys now. So maybe she'll enjoy this. So I'm only going to keep out a couple of these. I'll keep out the one with the feather and this little mouse. And then I'll keep like one of each thing out for her to play with. And then I'll put the rest back in the bag. Violet actually completely tore up the other little stick toy that I had with the feather at the end. So yeah. I think she's going to like this for sure. <laughs> oh my god! Yeah, she's definitely going to love this. It's a lot bigger and it's less easy to break because it's made out of like pretty thick material. The other one that I had was made out of just feathers so it would kind of just like tear off a little bit and I never want to take the chance of her like swallowing a feather. Well, she obviously likes this one. Okay, maybe she'll start playing with the tunnel or something. She's just interested in this little string thing but I'm gonna go ahead and build this little tower. Hey guys, it is Wednesday, September 25th. My birthday is tomorrow, but I guess I should update you guys on what has been going on. I'm not sure if, you to if I told you guys that that kitten I showed y'all was adopted pretty fast by somebody else, which I was actually very sad about. I actually cried a little bit because the kitten's like beautiful, but I'm glad she was adopted. I knew she would be. If it wasn't for me, it was gonna be someone else because everybody wanted her on that Facebook page. And then I, yesterday, I spent almost all day looking at every single rescue or humane society near me for like literally all day. Like I would just click one, look at their website, see what they have, go to the next one, the next one. And there was one humane society an hour away from me that has this little kitten right here. She's a female. She's three months old. She's spayed. She's had all of her shots. She's microchipped. She's dewormed. Everything important is done with her. And for some reason, she's still available. And I sent in an adoption application because it's a humane society. It's not a shelter. So you have to fill out like this form and everything. They have to accept you. And they called this morning and said that she's still available, that I would be able to adopt her because they called my landlord 
landlord and everything like that um and that i would be able to adopt her and i can't put a deposit down or anything for her because i haven't actually met her i am about to head over there they open at 11 it is 10 20 right now i'm gonna go over there and hopefully adopt this little this little girl i'm excited i'm nervous introducing her to twyla because i don't know how twyla is with other cats at all she was alone at the shelter she wasn't with a partner but i can just tell that she gets really bored when she's here by herself or at night when i'm asleep so i feel like getting her a little friend like a little friend to entertain her would be good and she's a really like sweet calm cat hopefully from what i'm feeling is that she'll be pretty good getting used to this cat because i've only had her a little over a month now so i don't know how possessive she is of her territory right now and that's why i'm getting a female cat i want a female kitten i don't want any males male cats are cute and they're sweet and i've seen and i've talked to a couple um rescue people last night and they had little male siamese kittens like here's one of them three months old as well, but he's adorable, but I don't want a male. <laughs> yeah, I'm driving an hour away. Hopefully go adopt this kitten, and I'm nervous, excited, and if I adopt her, then I need to go to PetSmart and get ca uh, kitten food, because all I have is cat food, and then probably like a little litter box, and I'm gonna set up a little space in the bathroom for the kitten right now, just because I'm going to slowly introduce her to Twyla. I'm not going to just like throw the kitten into Twyla's face because that's not what you're supposed to do. I'm gonna slowly introduce them, um, whether it be through the crack in the door or scents or anything like that. I'm not going to just like introduce them immediately. Yeah, I'm just gonna head over to the Humane Society now. Hey guys, today is my birthday. We are currently on the way to my parents' house so we can go to the Georgia Aquarium. Oh, yesterday when I got the rescue stuff and everything, I was gonna do a haul of what I got at PetSmart and everything. I still haven't done that yet, so I'm gonna do that later, probably tonight. But um, first night went well with the kitten. She likes to attack everything. So if you're walking, she will run and hang on to your leg while biting you. But she did well. She didn't destroy anything in my bathroom. So she's staying in the bathroom while I'm gone today. And I'm going to keep her and Twyla apart probably for the next couple days. And like let them see each other through cracked doors and everything. Because last night Twyla was very, very angry at the kitten when she saw her. So I'm not going to push her right now. Yeah, I'll, I'll show you guys everything that the like rescue gave me. 
and like what I got at PetSmart for and everything like that. But today we are going to the Georgia Aquarium. So I'm gonna film some of the fish and whales and sharks and everything like that for you guys. Tonight we're going somewhere in Atlanta for dinner. I haven't decided where I want to go yet. There's a lot of places to go into Atlanta, but they're very, very expensive. And I don't really feel like paying $50 for a freaking steak. So Hey guys, I just got back from the aquarium. Little Spectra, which I decided her name is going to be. She does really, really good in the bathroom. She does not destroy anything. She's actually out roaming in my living room right now. Twyla is laying right here playing with a couple toys that I've distracted her with. I've let them sniff each other through the door and like look at each other through the door for a couple minutes before I fully open the door and let them interact with each other before I do anything and that seems to help a lot better than just like opening the door while one's already standing there and they just kind of go really fast. I do it really slow and Twyla's being really really good with her. Um, she's hissing but she's not 
like being aggressive or anything like that. So for right now, I'm just gonna let the kitten roam around. She likes to chew on things and she's getting into things a little bit, but she's not, she's not being that bad. Here she is, first of all. I don't know if you've gotten a good view of her because she will not stay still. This is the sweetest that she's been since I got her. Yeah. She's, <laughs> she's a little crazy but she's been okay. So I wanted to show you guys what the rescue gave me and what I got at PetSmart for her. Ooh, yelly. Hey, no, no. See, she does that like growl and she like hits her for a second, but she doesn't put her claws out. I'm hoping over time it just slowly stops where they just start playing together. So I got her from the Etowah Valley Humane Society in Cartersville, Georgia. I had to drive a good hour and in Cartersville, if you know where that is, there's kind of like in the middle of nowhere. It's just like tons and tons and tons of trees. So I was driving for like 20 miles through just like trees, but I got there after I got lost because it is kind of hard to find. But once you get inside, if you're near Cartersville, it's a very beautiful and well taken care of humane society. So I 100% recommend going there if you're wanting to adopt a cat, a kitten, dogs, puppies, they have a lot. And all of the animals that they, all of the animals that they adopt out are on their website. So if you don't live super close like me, I saw her on their website and I was able to uh, fill out an application online. I got very lucky, but they were super clean. All the workers were very nice. Everything's super organized. It's probably like the nicest humane society I've ever been in and I've been in quite a bit. But I'll show you guys what I got. The first from PetSmart, I got a couple cans of wet food and also the collar that she's wearing. It's like a little black and white moon collar. Don't attack Twyla. She keeps running from the, the kitchen to attack Twyla. And no wonder why Twyla's getting mad. I'm hoping Twyla starts teaching her some like manners. That would be awesome. But yeah, I got, um, first of all, a bag of Hills Science Diet kitten food. They were feeding her blue buffalo and I 100% do not support blue buffalo. They're literally in like a lawsuit right now. <laughs> so I just totally did not give her the blue buffalo at all and just straight up gave her the Hill Science Diet kitten food and she's been doing great on it. And then they also gave me some fancy feast cans. So I'm I'm gonna give her the rest of the cans that they gave me just not to waste them. And then I'm gonna feed her the Hill Science Diet healthy cuisine, kitten food and roasted chicken and rice and salmon. I got those cans. And then I bought her that litter box that I'll show you in a second. I got a litter box, one of those decomposable ones because it was super cheap. And then um, a bed for her to lay in. And then this is the stuff that the rescue gave me. Me. So they gave me Meow Mix, Irresistible Soft Salmon Treat, which I'll actually give them both some of the treats that I have right now. And then they gave me two packs of pee, pee bags, which I've never actually seen before. I think that's pretty cool. I've never actually heard of those. And then they gave me just like a bag full of a bunch of different brochures for different things like um, prices, coupons off Resolve Urine Destroyer, which I already have, and a little sample of it. This guy... If you have cats or dogs or anything that pees on the floor sometimes, Resolve Urine Destroyer actually does work pretty great. I've used it for years now with my cats back home. And there's also a bunch of coupons that they gave me for the Breeze litter box that like kind of cleans itself a little bit. Don't attack her tail. And then this was the fa fancy feast, the chicken feast. So I'm just gonna give the rest of the cans that they gave me so I'm not wasting. I'm switching to the hills just cause that's what my veterinarian recommends. I'm planning on doing like a whole video on like everything you need to know about cats. I feel like that would be a fun video to do. So I'm going to be doing that eventually on this channel, probably the next video after this one. I don't know yet, but I'm going to show you guys what her setup looks like in the bathroom. And then I'm not doing anything else for the rest of the night. I'm not doing anything for the rest of the night. I don't know if you guys saw, but I went to the aquarium and then for lunch, we went to this place called Takaria. I think that's what it's called. Um, I got this Korean pork bowl. It was really good. And then I drank a sangria, my first legal drink. This is her setup in the bathroom. This is what she is in when I am gone or when I am asleep. So she's demonstrating her using her little litter box. <laughs> so here's her little litter box. I have a couple mouse toys. I have a little ball toys in here. I don't know where she's hit them off to. And then I'm going to get like metal bowls for her, but right now all I had is plastic. So plastic bowl for her food and water. And then I give her canned food as well. Her little bed that I got at PetSmart. And I've tucked everything in. I actually put a lamp in here so the light was calmer. And then this is the food that I got her. So yeah, she's a little crazy nut. She knows how to jump on the bed, as you guys will be able to see. And I promise my room only looks super messy because I got ready this morning and I can never decide what outfit to wear. So there's always clothes just like everywhere after I try to get ready. And I'll probably do laundry tomorrow. I had to pick up Twyla's food off the ground 
because um, this thing likes to eat Twyla's food too. And that's too big for her, that's for adults, so. Record some footage of the kitten being a kitten and then I'll update you guys when something more exciting happens. Oh. Hey guys, it's the 27th. I think I'm going to end this vlog here instead of vlogging till tomorrow, which is Saturday. Only because I'm not really doing anything tomorrow. I did order a bunch of more cat toys and like kitten stuff and cord covers because this little demon likes to chew on cords. I was gonna wait till tomorrow just to like show you guys all the stuff I got from Amazon, but I'll just post what I got on my Instagram story. So if you guys are interested in seeing um, the more stuff that I got from Amazon, then I'll put it on my Instagram story. So here's my Instagram if you guys want to follow me. I literally post a lot of stuff on my story that you guys would not see on YouTube. Definitely follow me there if you haven't yet, but this week was super fun. Um, the vanity's not coming this week, but when it does come, I'll post it on my Instagram so you guys will be able to see what it looks like in my room and everything. I'm going to be posting tons and tons and tons of videos of Lila and Spectra on my Instagram as well. I've already posted tons of videos of them anyway. So if you guys want to keep up to date on, you know, Spectra growing up, and how she reacts with Twyla and everything then definitely follow me there so I want to thank everyone who gave me things for my birthday or sent me things I know um, I'm waiting for a present from one of my subscribers in the mail right now I'm gonna go to my PO box later today but I also had another subscriber send me these oracle cards and I don't know y'all are just so great and I was also sent some Harry Potter bookmarks and stuff and then of course my grandma got me a lot of things so I really appreciate everyone who bought me things and did things for my birthday it was fun and after this video goes up I can't promise that I'm going to have a lot more uploads than I've been doing only because I'm basically taking care of a toddler and any single time I'm not looking at her she's trying to destroy something so I hope you guys understand that but I will be posting a lot of stuff on Instagram about her and everything I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog and I will see you guys in my next video bye Perfect.